now let us discuss about rehashing in data structures rehashing is a collision resolution technique just like separate chaining linear probing quadratic probing and double hashing we know what is a collision when two records are expecting for the same location in the hash table then it is called as collision so let us see an example so let we have a hash table like this so let we have two records 11 31 uh, 11 31 let size of the table is 10 uh, let we are using division method so division method means a uh, key modulo 10 in order to find out the hash key value we need to use that formula so here what is the first key 11 so 11 modulo 10 is nothing but 1 so we have to store 11 in the location 1 next in the next record is 31 so 31 modulo 10 means 1 so we need to store 31 in the location 1 but already location 1 contains 11 so this situation is called as collision when two records are expecting for the same location in the hash table then it is called as a collision so in order to resolve the collision so we can use uh, this technique rehashing technique so now let's see what is rehashing rehashing is a technique in which the ha the hash table size is resized so re rehashing means we have to resize the size of the hash table that is the size of the hash table is doubled by creating a new table so what is rehashing rehashing means we have to double the size of the hash table whenever collision occurs okay uh, so when rehashing it needs to be implemented when the hash table becomes too full so that means if 70 percent of the hash table is full or 80 percent of the hash table is full or 90 percent of the hash table is full so if most of the fields in the hash table are already occupied when the hash table becomes too full then insertion of new records causes too many collisions why because let us assume that size of the hash table is 10 so let already the table contains 8 records so only we have 2 fields as empty 2 cells as empty so let us assume that we have 3 more records so it is not possible to insert uh, uh, those keys in those records ok those records in those keys so in that type of occasion uh, we, we, it requires too many collisions ok so the process will become quite slower so in order to work on that problem we have to double the size of the hash table so let us see with the help of an example so let we have records like this uh, here let us assume that uh, here what is the size of the hash table 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 let, let us uh, let us have one more record 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the size of the hash table is 7 uh, 7 uh, let us uh, use uh, division method formula so h of key equal to so key modulo 10 key modulo 10 so what is the first key 13 so h of 13 is equal to i am sorry here what is the size of the table 7 7 okay so h of 13 equal to 13 modulo 7 so 13 modulo 7 means 6 so here we have hash table so what is the size of the hash table 7 so we will have six entries from 0 to 6 from 0 to 6 so we need to store 13 in index 6 so, so store 13 here next h of 15 so 15 equal to so 15 modulo 7 so that is equal to 1 so we have to store 15 in index 1 next 26 so h of 26 is equal to 26 modulo 7 so 7 3s are 21 so 21 means 26 minus 25 one means 5 so we have to store 26 in fifth location okay next one 6 h of 6 equal to 6 modulo 7 so that is equal to 6 so store 6 in but already this location is already occupied so let us use linear probing so what is linear probing we have to check whether its next location is free or not so what is its next location 0 so 0 is free so let us store here okay so next one 23 so h of 23 equal to 
23 modulo 7. So 7 3s are 21. Next 23 minus 21 means 2. So store 23 in second index. Second index. Next to 24. So h of 24 equal to 24 modulo 7. So 7 3s are 21. 24 minus 21 means 3. So store 24 here. Okay. So likewise, uh, uh, here uh, it requires what? Um, here, uh, if, if you observe here, uh, only one cell is uh, free here. So 95% of the hash table is completely full. So if you want to insert a new record, then too many collisions will be needed. So if you take here, if you want to insert 7, so H of uh, key equal to 7 modulo 7. What is 7 modulo 7? 0. But 0 location is but 0th location is already occupied, collision. So let us use linear probing. 1, 1 location is already occupied. So 1 more collision. 2 location is already occupied. So 1 more collision. This, this location is also already occupied. So 1 more collision. So this is the problem here. When 80% of the hash table is full or when 90% of the hash table is completely full, then if we want to insert a new record, then what will happen? Too many collisions are needed. So the process the hashing process will become quite slower. So in order to overcome this problem, what we have to do? We have to double the hash table size. Here, what is the size of the hash table? 7. So if we double 7, then we will get 14. So 14 is nothing but hash table size. But size of the hash table should be a prime number which is greater than this double hash table size. So what is the prime number which is greater than 14? So 15 is not a prime number. 16 is not a prime number, but 17 is a prime number. So now the size of the hash table will become 17. So now what we have to do? 17 is the size of the hash table. So now we need to create one more hash table and we have to store all the records in that hash table. So what is the size of the hash table? 17. So now we will have 17 keys, 17 indexes, 17 locations from 0 to 16. So 0, 1, so 2, 3, next to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, last, last one, 16, okay. So here what is the formula we have to use? H of key equal to key modulo 17, key modulo 17. So what is the first one here? What is the first key? 13. So H of 13 equal to 13 modulo 17. So what is 13 modulo 17? 13. So we have to store this 13 in 13th index. Next H of 15 equal to 15 modulo 17. So what is 15 modulo 17? 15. So we need to store 15 in 15th location. Next H of 26 equal to 26 modulo 17. So 17 ones are 17. 26 minus 17 means 9. So we have to store 26 in this ninth location. Next H of 6 equal to 6 modulo 17. So what is the result of 6 modulo 17? 6. So store 6 in 6. Next H of 23 equal to 23 modulo 17. So what is 23 modulo 17? Uh, 17 ones are 17. 6. But this 6 location is already occupied. So collision. So let us use linear probing. What is the next location? 7. It is free. So store uh, store 23 in 7th location. Okay. Next H of 24 equal to 24 modulo 7. So 17. So what is 24 modulo 17? 17 ones are 7. 17. So 7. But 7 is al already occupied. So let us store in uh, ne its next location. That is 8th location. So 24. Next H of 7 equal to 7 modulo 17. So what is 7 modulo 17? 0. What is 7 modulo 17? 7. But 7 is already occupied. 8 is occupied. 9 is occupied. So let us store 7 here. So this is rehashing. So what is the advantage of rehashing? If we double the hash table size, then the number of collisions will be reduced the number of collisions will be minimized so that we can improve the performance of the hashing. So what is rehashing? Rehashing means we have to double hash table size but that table size should be a prime number. So select a prime number which is greater than that hash table size. Here previously hash table size is 7 
So if you double 7, then we will get 14. So 17 is a prime number which is greater than 14. So this is about hashing in data structures.